God, I have been standing up for years. My knees are dust. My shins have been pulverized by walking thousands of blocks in every direction, all the parkour, all of the half heart survived jumps that I've taken in the nether. Greetings, folks, the man here, and welcome back to Minecraft Mods. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at Handicrafted. We are in the latest version of the game, 1.20.4, I believe, and this is fabric. So yeah, this is a decorations mod that I found recently, and, you know, decorations mods just don't hit like they used to, but this one does, so I really want to take a look at it. So, so yeah, let's get started. The first thing we have... <laughs> look at it. ...is the fancy paintings. These are great, okay? thing is, normal Minecraft paintings have this, like, <laughs> ethereal quality to them, but, yeah, these are balanced. Some of them are, like, pretty underwater ocean environment, like, oh, it's a stag, it's a big old deer in the woods. It's, like, Steve on the beach. Some of these are really nice, and then some of them are, like, <laughs> whatever is going on over here. Next is the so, I believe I was cooking something in here. Oh, it is a baked potatoes. Uh, the reason I was cooking them is because they change texture. The block changes texture. Look at that. Nice warm glow. And on top of the oven, we have the kitchen hood and the kitchen hood pipe, which is kind of weird because I've never heard this piece of kit being called that. I've always thought that that was just a chimney. But a kitchen hood, that sounds so much better. Now this might just be my favorite decoration block of all time. I'm not even kidding, because this uses something that I think Minecraft needs more of. And that is procedural generation. This block, if you want to call it that, just lets you place just ginormous stacks of books so that you can make really cool looking environments like this. Like this is tiny. Imagine like a huge library with like dozens of stacks of books everywhere, like just one book on the table here and there, and like they're random every time. Like Minecraft needs more of this with like flowers on the ground. You know, it just adds so much variety. Let me get rid of some of these because they're lagging me out a little bit because I'm placing too many at one time. But you know, these are sick. Okay, by the way, if you crouch and place them, uh, it, like, places it where a block would end. So just keep that in mind. Can you... Oh my... Oh, no, no, no. I just clicked the book out of it. I was like, oh, God, you can't place them. Hey, stranger. <laughs> 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 Subscribe. That's what, <laughs> that's, that's, what I, that's what I'm here to tell you to do. Subscribe. But that was such an odd way to start this little bit. <laughs> oh, I'm never saying that again. <laughs> hey, stranger. <laughs> Mm, you can't place them in, what are they called? Chiseled book cells. But that's fine, because you can place them on the soil. You can make them touch grass. Uh, <laughs> next thing we have is a cushion. And of course, they come in all colors, and you can sit down. I don't know what it is with Minecraft. They just don't allow you to sit down. So when mods allow you to sit down, it just feels incredible, because it's like, oh my god, I have been standing up for years! My knees are dust, my shins have been pulverized by walking thousands of blocks in every direction, all the parkour, all of the half heart survived jumps that I've taken in the nether. And finally, finally I can rest. Oh my god, the same thing with the chairs, and not so much with the tables, but same thing with the chairs. Okay, you can sit down. Oh my god, feels so good. Look at me. Also, the the dark oak chair is at the head of the table because it is the best type of wood. Fight me. Next thing we have in the mod is a bench. These these are really nice. These are really really nice. I just I I like benches. Also, they can go in any in, in any direction. They can go as far as you want. Is what I wanted to say. So yeah, you can up. Oh, you can have a super long bench. I wonder if they curve, though. Oh my god, they do! <laughs> it looks a little awkward over here, but that's fine. Look at that. Curved benches. I have 
What's the last time I saw a curved bench? That's super rare. It's like... My god. It's like a real-life shiny Pokemon. A curved bench. And there's also a frozen bench variety of the self-same bench. Next thing we have is a couch. Again, they come in all wood types, so you can get any colored frame you want. And if you just uh, click them with the cushions, like for example, if I get the black cushion and I click this, that will quickly change the color of the couch. So yeah, you can have uh, any colored couches. And curved couches, not that rare. I have one in my living room. So the next thing is, what are these? If this is a chair, then what is this? That's a bench? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my god, that's a bench! <laughs> oh, it looks correct too! I've messed up! <laughs> I have made a mistake! I have put a bunch of benches around around the, the, the bloody table and I have put a bunch of chairs just facing nothing and nowhere. I was wondering why this is so big and the chairs are so small. Oh no, dude. Oh god. It's, it's alright. It's okay. Uh, you know what? These look more epic anyways. Like, look at this. Look at this. Place it down there. Look at that. It's so, so much more comfortable. Your arms are all rested. It's perfect. This, I've made the right decision. You know what? You should sit on a bench while having dinner. That's a, that's a moral you should take away from this video. The next thing is a dining bench. So this is nice too, you can just sit down. This is, you know what, even this is fine. For some reason, this doesn't bother me. This is ideal. But this, I'm talking about real life by the way, not just Minecraft. I don't know what it is. Just chairs without armrests feel incomplete. But this, this feels like, oh, there's like, okay, it's, it's supposed to be like this. But with this... But this also, can this extend? Okay, no, it, it just like, you can, but you can like kind of extend it, but it doesn't like, it does connect. Why didn't it connect on the first go? Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, there we go. It's like a park bench. So yeah, yeah, park bench. They're supposed to be shared, okay? You're supposed to sit with friends, if you have any of those. But, but this, this, you had the option to just put little, little, else like little else but instead you took the l and, and everyone has to suffer because of it <laughs> that, that is a long time spent talking about virtual furniture uh this is the side table this is like a you put it on the side of your bed and stuff yep these are nice i don't know what to say about those you can store stuff in them oh my god they have a full chest worth of storage for like this tiny little space that's that's a fantastic deal and over here we have desks. You know, I'd rather have this on the side of my bed than this. I don't know why. Just I think I just what I've what I'm realizing is I just like big chunky furniture, <laughs> big stable furniture that I can't move if I bump into it. And what's the difference between this? Oh, that's a nightstand. So this is what goes next to your bed. So what, what? What? I thought a desk was somewhere you could sit on. Actually, you know what? I can assemble a desk right now if I get one of these. Put it right there. Oh, see, look at that. That's, oh my god, and it merges into it. You see that? See how it does that? See, this is what, this is a good mod. This is how you know. Okay, little details like that. This is why Minecraft updates take forever, because that's, this is what the developers are working on. Little stuff, like, like the, the tables merging into the desks so that you can create your own custom furniture. This is, bravo, I love this mod. This is fantastic. You also have... Fancy jungle beds, which you can also get in all wood types. I wonder if you can color them the same way you can with um, the the things. Okay, no, you can't. But there is another item that I want to test out, which is this: the sheets. I think this is what you use. Yeah. Oh my God, we have discovered something. There's patterns. Are they the same pattern or are they different? Oh, <gasps> they're different. They're different. Chat, we're gonna do this. We gotta. We have to, oh my God, the creeper. Let's see. We have to rank them now. Uh, hopefully, there is enough. You can, we can just try all of them on the same bed. <laughs> uh, oh my God, this video is gonna be extremely long. Do you know what? It's fine. I haven't uploaded for a while. You people deserve it. 
Black, I like it plain, simple, the checkers. Blue, stripes, uh, brown. Eh, you could have done something more interesting with brown. Cyan, okay, little grid. Gray is all right. Green is it, man. Green is great. I like it. I like it. The flower pattern with the white flowers. It's beautiful. Oh, my blue. Okay. Gray. Eh, eh. I didn't expect too much from gray, to be honest. <laughs> I'm sorry, gray, but it's, you are just not fun, man. Uh, lime. Oh, yeah, we saw the creeper. We saw this. This. Uh, pink. Yep. Classic, of course. They put the heart. Purple. That's great. You could could have done something more interesting with purple. Come on. Red, again. It is on the money. Red is great. White. Uh, that's just normal color. And yellow is just a stripe. So, yeah. I did not know that. I did not know about this feature. Over here we have the most claustrophobic weird kitchen that you've ever seen, which has counters, cupboards, shelves, and drawers. So yeah, a bunch of different... Like, that's the thing. Like, all of these feel samey. But like if you grab one of like each type and put them just next to each other, like, the little bit of uh, visual variety that that creates... It is it's worth everything. Like, this will improve your household so much. It'll be great. Come on, Mojang. Give me give me more, like, useless variations. Give me cows with different colored patterns on them. Come on. This is a pillar trim and a tri... Uh, what is it called? A corner trim. Man, I can't read, can I? <laughs> it's just embarrassing. <laughs> Not even complicated words to be honest, but these are great. They are these little things that go to this on the sides of walls But they can also be used for like a lot of different stuff. They are very versatile building block Like look at this pillar that I made out of red sandstone It looks nice Come on imagine finding this instead of that stupid well in the desert. <laughs> I'll be like my god Someone epic built this but the well it's like ah oh, some stupid villager made this and now I have to look at it. Uh, then we have a different... Or different. We, now we have a variety of different pots. We have the thick pot, wide pot, medium pot, and thin pot. Pretty cool. And then we have the white glazed version, the blue glazed version, and the gold. Look at how nice these look. I just like gold stuff. I'm like a some kind of bird that likes shiny objects. Uh, there's also these trophies. With some of them are like just morbid, just a decapitated fox and a decapitated goat. The fish I don't feel too bad for because it's a fish. The bear I'm confused about because these things don't exist in the game. <laughs> At least not the grizzly version. The horse? Oh yeah, this one is sick. This one too. This one is cute until you realize that you have t taken them, these friends out of the sea and nailed them to a wall. The blaze is risky. I don't even know how you did that. Skeleton's kind of cool with the bow displayed like that. Creeper is awesome based on that drawing of the, <laughs> the, the TNT in the stomach. Phantom, that's just great that you managed to not just like pick up one of these things. Just like, bam, you're going on the wall. No more annoying me, you clown. Oh, uh, then we have the evoker, the pillager, the vindicator, and the witch. These are great too. Very like... Graveyardy, very Halloween aesthetic, having like monster statues around. And then we have a bunch of kitchen stuff. We have bowls, first of all, the stackability function, fantastic, absolutely beautiful. I'm doing the Italian hand thing, by the way. Uh, <laughs> because you can stack them in stacks of, let's see, one, two, three, four, four, five, okay, five in one block. But the way they stack, you could just keep doing it. And it all still looks like proper. And that is f amazing design. That is fantastic. Same thing with the plates. Is it the same thing with the plates? Oh, no, no, no. The plates. Come on, guys. Just like, come on. Just add a few more plates so I can just make a giant plate tower. It's, we've got this. Then we have cups, which look adorable. And over here we have a cup and a plate. So yeah, a, a crockery combo is what it's called. And yeah, you can put food on it or other edible materials. So yeah guys, that has been handy crafted. I like this mod. Attention to detail is fantastic. Oh, 
that is that's a thumbnail don't worry about that <laughs> but yeah this has been fantastic and yeah I'm, I'm so happy to be back yeah that's that's just that's just it you'll get a videos more frequently now like the old day like the old days of two months ago before i have only uploaded like six videos in, in a month and a half i'm sorry but on that note guys i hope you've liked i hope you've commented and i hope you've subscribed and for now, a goodbye.